Hello, this is a lesson on translations. We're going to learn how to translate figures using a graph, and we're also going to learn how to use arrow notation to describe translations. Let's start with a little bit of vocabulary. A transformation is the process of moving a shape or changing the size of a figure. The process of moving a shape or changing the size of a figure. And there's several different types of transformations. One of those types is called a translation. A translation is the process of sliding a figure. I can also think of a few other types of transformations. For example, a reflection is also a transformation, a dilation, or a rotation. Those are all other types of transformations. But today we're just going to focus on translations. So let's start with a little bit of notes. Transformations can be described using something called arrow notation. And we're going to look at how you use arrow notation to describe translations. So let's start with couple of examples. These transformations are written using arrow notation. Describe each transformation in words. So for example, one, I have x comma y with an arrow, x plus five, y plus three. And I want to say, what is this? What kind of transformation is this? This is a translation. I see a plus sign and a plus sign. If I see plus or minus signs here and here, that means you're dealing with a translation. This is a translation right 5. So this means translate right Five. If you see x plus, that means to the right. If you see y plus, that means up. So right five and up three. Okay, let's look at another example. x comma y, this is arrow notation because there's an arrow here. Um, we'll make this x minus seven, y minus two x minus 7, y minus 2, and we're going to say that this is translate because I see x minus and y minus. You see plus or minus here. That means translate. x minus is the opposite of x plus. x plus was right. x minus means left. Translate left 7 and y minus is the opposite of y plus. y plus means up, y minus means down, and that was down 2. Here's the next example. If I have x comma y with an arrow, x plus 3, y minus 19. This means translate x plus means right 3 and y minus means down, down 19. And then our last example of arrow notation for translations, if I had x minus 2 comma y, this means translate 
x minus means left, translate left 2. A y without any plus or any minus means that there's no up and there's no down translation. So we are just trans translating left 2 and that's it. Okay, so let us review what we just did. Okay, a transformation written in arrow notation is called a rule, R-U-L-E. Okay. For x, for the x values, for x, okay, if you see a plus sign, that means translate, is that left or right? That is right. And a minus is the opposite. And minus means translate to the left. Okay, if you see a y plus, so for y, a plus sign means translate. y plus means up, and a minus sign means translate down. Okay, let's look at another example. It says, graph the pre-image and image and write a rule using arrow notation to describe the transformation. So let's start with, I have to tell you what we want to translate. So we'll start with A, B, and C, and I will give you those coordinates. A is 1, 1, B is 2, 3, and C is 3, 1. So let's go ahead and graph that. 1, 1, and we always label these. This is A. Okay, B is 2, 3. That's B. And C is 3, 1. That's C. And we will go ahead and connect the dots, and you see that we have a triangle. Okay, so what we just did is we graphed the pre-image. You see A, B, and C over here to the left of the arrows, that's the pre-image. Okay, and then we're going to graph the image. Pre means before, so the pre-image is the before, the image is the after. It's like a before and after picture. Okay, so A was 1, 1. A prime is going to be negative 3, negative 1. The prime symbol is an indication that you're dealing with the image, the after. So if you see a prime symbol, that means you're looking at the image. Okay, so A prime is negative 3, negative 1. We will label that. B prime is negative 2, 1. And C prime is negative 1, negative 1. Okay, so we have graphed the pre-image here. We have graphed the image. Now we're going to do the last part, write a rule. Okay, so that means I need to start with something that looks like this, x comma y with an arrow. And then I'm going to look to see, well, what happened? Okay, it looks like the figure has moved this way to the left and down. So let's count. You could start with A and compare that to A prime. So to get from A to A prime, we're going to count to the left 1, 2, 3, 4. It's left 4. And down, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 left and down one, two. Do not just say left four and down two. That's not the answer. The answer is, okay, how do I say left four? Left is x minus, and that's four. Down is y minus, and that's two. So your answer 
to the last part of this exercise is here's the rule x minus 4 y minus 2 let's look at another example this is example 6 it says Point A is located at negative 4, negative 2. It's translated to form its image, point A prime, at negative 5, 5. Write a rule for this translation. To help us, we could use this graph. So it's not necessary, but it certainly helps. Let's graph negative 4, negative 2. We'll call that A. And then we're going to graph a prime, negative 5, 5. And then compare what has happened. It looks like a has moved to the left and up to give you a prime. Looks like it moved left 1 and up. I'm not sure how many. Let's count. Left 1 and up. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7. This is not the answer. The answer looks like this. We're going to write a rule. Okay, so I have x comma y with an arrow symbol. Left one is minus one comma. Up is y plus seven. Okay, so this is your answer. Here is example 7. Let's go to example 7. Example 7 says graph the pre-image, then use the following rule to graph the image. Here's the pre-image. We're going to go ahead and graph that. 0, 0 is P. R is 0, negative 2. And S is negative 1, negative 1. and then connect the dots and you have a triangle. We are going to graph using this rule. This says x plus 3, y minus 1. x plus 3 means we are moving right 3. And y minus 1 means we are moving down 1. So the easiest way for me is to start counting. Start with P and go right 3 down 1. 1, 2, 3 down one, and then plot, and this is P prime. From S, we're going to move right three, one, two, three, and down one, that is S prime, and R, one, two, three, and down one, and that's R prime. And this is the graph of the image. We graphed the image just now. If you wanted to say these points, this was not part of this exercise, but if you wanted to actually say where's P prime, R prime, and S prime, you could. P prime is located at 3, negative 1. R prime is 3, negative 3. And S prime is 2, negative 2. Okay, let's look at some practice examples. This will be a very good opportunity to pause the video and try these on your own. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to answer practice question number one. It says write a rule to describe the transformation. So let's compare. It looks like the figure has moved to the right and down. So I'm going to compare C and C prime to the right, 1, 2, and down, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, 2, down, 4. Okay, so let's write this. Here's the rule. To go right, that is x plus, and it's 2. To go down, that is y minus and that one was 4. So here's our answer. Okay, And then the second practice question says use the rule to translate the figure. So here's the figure. We're going to go 
x minus 3, y minus 5. Minus 3 is left, so we're moving left 3 and down 5. So just count. Here's j. I'm going to go left 3, 1, 2, 3, and down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's j prime. From h, 1, 2, 3, and down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 h prime. i, we're going to go left 3 and down 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. i prime. Oops, it should be over here. Okay, so let me get my eraser and erase that. Okay. All right, so I have this triangle, and I have translated the figure using this rule. That is the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for watching.